It's the hottest day of the year. The air outside is thick enough to swim through, and the sun is beating down with a vengeance. You finally make it inside, dreaming of that sweet cool blast from your air conditioner. You crank it down, wait for the magic to happen, and… silence followed by a decisive click from your electrical panel. You've been betrayed. Your AC has tripped the circuit breaker and your cool oasis is now just a hot, stuffy box. What just happened? Was it a random fluke? A sign of impending doom for your bank account? Or is it something you can actually fix yourself? That single click is your home's electrical system screaming for help and ignoring it is the last thing you want to do. Because while it's doing its job and protecting your home from a potential fire, it's also a warning sign. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to decode that warning for you, revealing the common culprits, the easy fixes, and the one major problem that means you need to call a professional immediately. The guardian in your wall. What is a circuit breaker? Before we dive into the suspects, let's quickly talk about the hero of this story, the circuit breaker. Think of it as a vigilant bodyguard for your home's wiring. Every appliance pulls a certain amount of electrical current, or amps. The circuit breaker assigned to your air conditioner is designed to handle a specific maximum load. When your AC unit suddenly starts pulling more power than the breaker is rated for, the breaker does its one and only job. It trips. It cuts the power to prevent the wires from overheating and melting. So, when your AC trips the breaker, don't get mad at the breaker. Thank it for doing its job, and then let's figure out why your AC got so power-hungry in the first place. Suspect Hash 1 – The Suffocating System Let's start with the most common, and thankfully, the easiest problem to fix. Your air conditioner needs to breathe. If it can't, it will choke and overwork itself. The first place to look is your air filter. When it gets clogged with dust and dander, your AC's fan motor has to struggle to pull air through it, drawing more power. This lack of airflow also means the cold evaporator coils inside can't transfer their coolness to the air efficiently. In some cases, they can even freeze into a solid block of ice. The same problem happens outside. The condenser coils on your outdoor unit are designed to release heat. But when they're covered in dirt, grass clippings, and leaves, it's like your AC is trying to exhale while wearing a thick winter coat. Both a clogged filter and dirty coils force the entire system to run longer and harder, drawing excess amps until, click, the breaker gives up. Always check your filter and clean your outdoor unit first. Suspect Hash 2 – The Electrical Gremlins If your system is breathing easy, but still tripping, we have to look for electrical gremlins. The first culprits are the capacitors. The start capacitor gives the compressor a powerful jolt to get it started. If it's weak, the compressor will struggle, hum, and draw a massive power spike, tripping the breaker instantly. The run capacitor keeps things running smoothly. If it fails, the system runs inefficiently, overheats, and eventually trips. Another common failure point is the condenser fan motor on the outdoor unit. If this fan motor seizes up or fails, it can't cool down the compressor. The pressure and temperature inside the compressor will skyrocket causing a huge amperage draw and tripping the breaker to prevent a total meltdown. If you notice the fan on your outside unit isn't spinning, this could be your problem. This next one is sneaky. Your AC doesn't use up refrigerant like a car uses gas. It operates in a closed loop. If your system is low on refrigerant, it means you have a leak somewhere. When refrigerant is low, your AC can't cool your home's air effectively. So, what does it do? It runs and runs and runs. It will never reach the temperature you set on the thermostat, and this continuous operation will cause the components, especially the compressor, to overheat from sheer exhaustion. This leads to a higher amp draw and, you guessed it, a tripped breaker. Simply adding more refrigerant is a temporary fix. A pro needs to find and repair the leak. This is the one we all fear. The compressor is the heart of your system, and when it fails, it can fail spectacularly in a way called a grounded compressor. This means an electrical winding inside has broken and is touching the compressor's metal casing. The moment the system gets power, an enormous amount of electricity goes straight to the ground, creating a dead short. The circuit breaker will trip instantly, not after a few minutes, not with a hum, but immediately. If you reset the breaker and it trips right away, every single time, stop. Do not keep trying. This is a call a pro right now situation, and it often means the entire unit needs to be replaced. So to recap, 
Start by checking for airflow problems like dirty filters and coils. Then, consider electrical issues like a bad capacitor or a failed fan motor. Remember that low refrigerant means a leak and will cause the system to overheat from running constantly. And if the breaker trips instantly and repeatedly, suspect the worst, a grounded compressor. In some rare cases, the circuit breaker itself can just get old and weak, tripping even when the AC is fine. An electrician can diagnose that. If this video helped you decode your AC's cry for help and saved you from a sweaty night, do me a favor and cool things down by hitting that like button. It really helps the channel out. And for more tips to keep your home running smoothly and save you money, make sure to subscribe. Stay cool and we'll see you in the next one.